Let's watch Trump do yet another rally in Pennsylvania, running some of his greatest hits of misinformation with some newer ones as well, but of course with just a fraction of the crowd sizes he had in 2016. And as always, I'm here to fact check the madness so you don't have to suffer through an entire rally to understand the ignorance and dangers of this man. So I've lined up the best moments and we'll go through them one by one. Your child goes to school and they take your child. It was a he and comes back a she. This might be, writ large, the dumbest claim that he makes. And it's one that the Trump campaign itself couldn't provide a single answer on and admit it so when they were pressed for evidence for a few reasons. I mean, sex chain surgeries aren't happening to minors. That's a pretty big one. But also, you could go to school and get school lunch without like the $2 or whatever to pay for it. And they will call you every single day until you pay them that money. The idea that they're just handing out $10,000 surgeries like candy on Halloween for free is hilariously stupid if you apply, apply the least bit of critical thinking, but you know what can happen to a kid under the Trump administration, what can happen to your children at schools directly because of Republican laws, they can go to school alive and come home dead from bullet wounds. This is why voting blue is an imperative. So I heard that question when it was given, because I had to watch because, you know, she doesn't do any interviews. She doesn't do any press conferences. She doesn't do them for one reason, she's not smart. Within the last week, Kamala Harris has done The View, Howard Stern, 60 Minutes, and some local radio interviews as well, while Trump took two questions from Fox News and got fact-checked twice and refused to do 60 Minutes because they said they would fact-check misinformation. So who's the one that's really down to do interviews again or not? Who's the one who calls all critical questions against him fake news? Trump has insulated himself in a bubble where he can lie all he wants and his base will eat it up because they don't research anything and he'll never get fact-checked because he won't won't step outside the bubble. And if he does get fact checked, it's fake news and nobody believes it. I think as a learning experiment, every single American should be forced to watch a Trump rally in its entirety because nobody would take him serious if they did. So she didn't send anything or anyone at all. Days pass, no help as men, women, and children drowned. North Carolina has eight military bases, great bases. Fort Bragg, remember Fort Bragg? They changed the name. We won two wars. Two world wars, actually, to be specific, from Fort Bragg, but they changed the name to, I'm not even gonna say it. $100 says he just forgot what the base's name was changed to, Fort Liberty. It's kind of crazy the disinformation complex that Republicans have set up to allow this nonsense to be normalized. I mean, let's just see what the North Carolina governor has to say, since according to Trump, he's not getting anything. This has been an unprecedented disaster for our state. But what you are seeing, thanks to you, the Biden-Harris administration, state and local officials, volunteers, private organizations, this has been a massive, unprecedented response. We are deeply grateful for the federal resources that we have. FEMA has been on the ground with us since the very beginning of this. So yeah, just absolute nonsense from Trump. FEMA has been on the ground. Over $300 million of aid has been utilized, housing and food assistance, $750 direct payments, medical services, resources to help rebuild. But yet Trump, rather than praise America for its ability to respond to such a tragedy, would rather politicize it and, and, and chances that it might keep people from applying to aid that they very well could get just in hopes that it might win them a couple votes. It's sad and pathetic and it belongs nowhere near our national discourse, but Again, this is the state of the current Republican Party. These are the people they elect to represent them. <laughs> 